Well, it's uh, coming up to World B Day, May the 20th, which by a happy coincidence is also my birthday. And uh, I get to celebrate twice uh, the joy of keeping bees and uh, my uh, entrance into this world. I'm just on my way to meet a, a new beekeeper, a young lad, young being a relative term, who started keeping bees this year. He's got his first colony and uh, it works with me at my apiary at uh, Lingham Gardens to um, learn as much as he can about bees before he sets up on his own. Hi there, my name's Ken Swift and I took up beekeeping um, really because I was interested to learn more about it. I'm a gardener by trade and obviously everyone knows how important honeybees are in pollinating insects. Um, and my dad got back into beekeeping in his later years. So when I'd go home to see him, obviously he had hives in the garden. And then where I work at Lingerholm, we um, we also had hives. So that was, you know, I'd see the beekeepers coming in, see them coming in. Um, and it was just really fascinating, really. So one day he asked if I would, you know, like to see what was going on. And they lent me a spare suit. Um, and yeah, it went from there, really. I um, I enjoyed it. It was... It was a bit surreal being surrounded by bees for the first time and uh, hearing the noise of it all. But once you get into it and you start learning about it, it, it really is a fascinating subject. Um, and it's got something that's going to have legs for me for years to come because I don't think you know, you'll ever finish learning or being surprised by it. Uh, it's a real pleasure to work with Ken and introduce him into the uh, art of beekeeping. Uh, he's picking it up well, he's keen, he's enthusiastic, he's possibly the future of um, next generation of beekeeping, if you like. So, more about World Bee Day. It's uh, put through um, the UN by Slovenia, uh, who is a, a nation that is fanatical about bees and beekeeping, and a, a wonderful country as well. Um, it celebrates the birth of Anton Jensa, who was a pioneer of beekeeping in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And it just so coincides with my birthday as well. So, I, as I said earlier, double privilege to celebrate both. What it gives is a world focus on the importance of honeybees in the production of food and pollination. But it also covers all pollinators that are involved in food production for uh, human consumption. Um, they contribute hugely to the economy, but also to our basic diet. A lot of the top fruit we wouldn't have. Um, there's a huge part of our diet is provided by pollinators. Even palm oil is pollinated by a weevil. Uh, so pollinators in general are hugely important and we need to look after the environment to ensure they thrive and help us thrive as well. Um, and that's the focus of World Bee Day. As a beekeeper I feel very privileged. I'm just glancing to, out to the view there uh, and there can be a few prettier apiary sites I think in the country. I'm sure somebody will find one but to me this is one of the finest views that you can have while keeping bees. And I'm just going to turn the camera around. And it gives me great pleasure to keep bees here just in between inspecting frames and glance out at that glorious view. So happy bee day.